always feel a bit giddy uh, when I come to do one of these videos because I'm never, re I'm not, uh, I'm not actually very good at this uh, television sort of YouTube thing. So I always feel a bit like I'm being interviewed by the BBC for something. <laughs> without actually having anything to contribute but anyway i've had a couple of people that have asked me today or actually over the past couple of weeks uh they found the 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 restraints video the like fastening down video is very useful and i've had a couple of people that have asked me to do a, a, a kayak how, how do you fasten a kayak down onto the roof rack uh and um how you know other sorts of things you know i mean how, how to use the the functionality of the land rover and the roof rack and so on and so forth um and load restraint isn't an easy thing if you're not familiar with it it actually can be quite worrying really i suppose because you know you've got kayaks on the roof and you don't want to come off into a car in front of you you know it's a bit of a drama really so it could be quite dodgy any road um uh, so I'm going to. I'm not going to do the kayak one uh, this week. Um, I, I'll actually do another one because we'll be getting kayaks on roof and uh, at some stage in the future. And I shall have a J rack and I'll also put them directly onto the roof. And we'll do a couple of different sort of restraint mechanisms that'll help if you see what I mean. So, um, so I'm going to do that uh in a different video uh but today i'm going to just do a couple of other bits of things um just help out a bit really i suppose so we're going to have a look at just some name really fancy i'm just going to use some random stuff that i've got in garage really i suppose we'll <laughs> see what we can see what we can fasten on I'll just grab a bit of random stuff i suppose <laughs> anyway let me turn camera around and we'll get going now I've already deployed the ladder, uh, which is a, a bit tricky to do. I can't show you how to do that with, well, I suppose I could, but it's a bit hard to do it with one hand if you're holding gimbal, gimbly gimbal, because um, of course you've got you've got to kind of pull the thing and and pull it out and down at the same time. But uh, I use this a tremendous amount. This this ladder I use it an awful lot, um, probably daily, and it's been cracking. Apart from. I think we've mentioned this before, apart from this uh, bit of a clip up here, which I'm going to get fixed at some stage. Um, it's, it's a cracking thing. It's uh, really strong. I've used it and carried fuel up there, and I'm not a light mon, so it's uh, yeah, fit for purpose, as they say. Now, I've just had the present Mrs. Firth uh, help me out here, because uh, doing this in the shop isn't actually very easy, because, I mean, there's a bit of a clearance here, but I've got light unit and... and I suppose I better just put that back together again. Um, and it's a bit hard for me to show you what I'm doing, but I've just grabbed a couple of things here. I've grabbed four candles here, and uh, I'm just going to show you how to strap these down. Now, I'm going to use just a uh, just a what we call a cam strap, and there's of course uh, this is uh, you know this is the best way I guess to do this is just bring them close together, and then what you can do here, we have to move and try not fall on glass roof. Um, I've done this before and this is the same sort of technique that I use when I'm actually strapping boats down to the roof is you take the cam strap um, all the cam bit you pass uh, the the strap underneath like this and then over the top of the over the top of four candles and then underneath uh, and then you've got the two bits in your hand like this and then obviously you'd you know this is this is short one and all this is one i was telling you about that broken is long enough to be useful and then you just poke this uh, this end through the cam strap which is how these work like that and uh should be able to see this and pull it away uh, and then you can just maneuver these into place like that uh, or a bit like that get these out of the way here we are uh, and there it is and then what I do, I mean, you could use another one if you wanted. This is pretty tight because, of course, the rubber's on here. But then what you do is you take this underneath, or what I do. Uh, and then you can do the same again. You know, you can go over here like this. And then underneath, has just the same sort of replication as you were doing earlier on. And then take this one and poke it underneath here. And with a longer spread, as you pull this, as you pull this one down, flattening this piece out here, uh, you get a bit of tension on it and as you pull up it automatically pulls this down and then you can wrap this round here like that round and then you can tie off any road you like uh, I would you know what would I do here I'd, uh, uh, I'd probably take it around another time like that 
and then back round over here like that and then I'd tie off by doing that sort of funny technique that I told you earlier on where you go underneath like that and then back through and then yank this over like that and then of course you have to and so here you are you see now you oh it's not so easy tina so now you've got your four candles all strapped down nice and tight and your your uh your cam lock tail is out of the way it's all uh tied off nicely so you'll get a little flat from this little bit that's left but otherwise uh everything's secure and strapped down well the same kind of procedures uh can be used to fasten this onto the rack if you wanted to or or actually in the back if you wanted in load space really uh because this is you know always the sort of the things you can put in back into anyway the same kind of thing can happen you know you can take your cam strap the same story take the tail that's only underneath or the roll if you've got that there and then uh, run this over the top scooch it up a bit and then the same underneath being careful not to let your metal end if you've got just the metal end bang on sunroof because then you might stand a chance of cracking it or whatever uh take your tail run your tail through uh the end of the cam you know your little cam ratchety there now because holes is softer obviously it'll move and flex a bit more and you can fasten it too tight if you're not careful and what you want it to try and do is just stop it moving around so you really just hold it down to the point where it, it stops squidging and moving on its own and then repeat the procedure just run this over here over the top again underneath the bar then find your other the other half of this that you've passed underneath bring it up fasten this tail end through it and then sort of lever it around so this bottom bit's flat the piece that you pass from the front is flat so that when you yank on it you're going to get purchase again there we are and now it's all nice and tight german fit nice and tight uh, round again then you can go round here again and then fasten off in the same way as we did before just loop it round underneath something that's fast bring the tail end round the back side through the middle and tie off and then if I just move round here again to give it a bit of a, a yank and then your holes are tight on the rack you see and you've got everything fast down nice and you know securely everything's out of the way and your holes are uh, solid you know it's, it's uh, not going to go anywhere now occasionally if you fasten down something irregular or small and you have too much of a tail then you've got another problem because you don't want this blowing about because over time it'll loosen this this knot here that you've tied to get rid of this so it's important to get rid of this tail too yeah, so if i just undo this a slightly and then we'll adjust and i'll show you a different way to get rid of this this tail here oh i better get up because it's oh i need to reconfigure myself a bit and so if you've if the old uh you have is small if it's small then you're going to have a lot more of this stuff left and you're going to have to do something with that and i mean there's a lot of like i said there's lots of different things to do with it uh you could wrap it around or or what i'm going to do here is i'm going to uh, just put this here and i'm going to strap this all the way then to the other side just wrap it around get rid of the tail and then uh, the same again with me um with me tail of the the strap just pull this tight and then uh, your holes are secure and um and so is your your uh your tail under the thing it'll flap about a bit but it's uh it's secure it's not going anywhere so so there you go that's uh that's the old secured now i suppose what we could do is just pop down in the back and i'll show you how to secure something in the back uh, as we did in one of our other videos uh just the same technique but uh, perhaps something a bit more unusually shaped
Now, despite having all the light in the planet on, in here and it being daylight, it's still dark in here, but I've got the pumps in back here, look, and uh, I'm just going to get the trusty cam lock again. I mean, you could use, if you wanted to, you could use, uh, you know, the ratchet strap, but cam locks are, you know, unless you're strapping down something of extreme weight, cam locks are just as good. Uh, and in the back of you, uh, you'll see we've got uh, underneath the the the, uh, the back here we have these tie down loops and the process is just to three, thread one of these little chaps through this end here or it's in a knot look and uh, and then I'm going to pick the one that's at kilter corner to it here over here which is harder to do than, than to say because it's buried away in all this sort of stuff and the idea is to trap if you can the pumps in a secure way and obviously fastening down on top of this hose is probably going to damage it so you have to think about something else and so I'm not going to fasten down I'll root that out and then I'll, you know, continue in the same sort of way with my pumps. Just another ratchet strap over the, not a ratchet strap, but a cam lock strap over the top. Pull the loose out so you've got some, you've got some constraint on here. Strap it down and then your pumps are secure. But, because it's in the back of course, you don't really need to do anything in here. Just throw that in there and then close the door and your load's secure. Well, thank you very much for tuning in again to Shedlock 2000's Land Rover Defender, uh, what do they call it, the um, YouTube channel. It's been great having you along. Happy April Fool's Day. Uh, I hope it's a great day for you, first day of the month. Uh, May, I hope this is a, a good and healthy month for you and all yours. And uh, please try and, and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next real video, which I'm going to do which hopefully will be of more use to you. <laughs> and thanks to Banjo and the baby for this. I appreciate this. And it's good night from me. And it's good night from Finn. <laughs>